What's going on, people? I was watching the interview between Charlemagne the God and Travis Scott. And Charlemagne had asked him the question regarding his music being demonic or a satanic ritual. I want you guys to listen to the answer that Travis Scott gave to Charlemagne. And then I'm going to speak on that briefly. Some people say um, your, your, your music played a role in this. Like I've seen them, you know, cite lyrics. You know, that encourage this kind of behavior. I've seen them say your music is demonic and this was a satanic ritual. You, you think your music is to blame? I mean, no. I'm a, I mean, one, I'm a man of God. So that's the first thing first. And, um, you know, so it's just, yeah, that's that. He said he was a man of God. So my first question would be, if you are a man of God, why did you have those satanic symbols during your concert, the upside down cross, the energy itself was completely demonic. Now, people, mainly young people, have to be careful with the celebrities that claim that they are of God because many has gone into the world and say that they believe in God. As a matter of fact, Yeshua says, in that day, many will say, Lord, have I not? And he will say, depart from me. I've never known you. So there are so many people, celebrities, that's deceiving their fans by telling them that they are of God. But yet they are not specifying which God they are a part of. Now, he said that he's a child of the Most High. He's a man of God. Which God is he a man of? Which God? Because there are many gods in the world. Now, I'm going to read a scripture for you. And it's coming from 1 John, the fourth chapter, reading the first to the third verse. And it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. So when you hear these celebrities speaking, for example, Travis Scott, that say that he's a man of God. It is not him that's speaking, but the spirit that's operating within him. So it was a spirit that responded to Charlemagne. When asked the question about his music being demonic or a satanic ritual, the spirit responded. And the, and the Spirit said that he was a man of God. But according to the Scripture, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the Spirit. In other words, test the Spirit, whether they are of God. And then it says, Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Now, I've seen countless number of videos on YouTube where people are constantly saying that Jesus is a myth, that he's not real, he's fictitious. Whereas at the same time, they will quote a scripture from the Proverbs and Psalms and even make themselves to be virtuous, or they say that they are divine or godly, but yet they reject Christ. But according to 1 John, it says, hereby, in other words, this is how you can identify or know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And the third and final verse says, and every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. Now, people think of the Antichrist as some governmental figure or some false prophet that's coming 
but yet we find many antichrists right here on YouTube, right on social media. These are the people that's constantly spending and wasting time making videos trying to discredit a God that they claim don't exist. They claim Jesus is not real. But yet, at the same time, they're wasting their time and energy trying to prove that he's not real. Although they say that he don't exist. And another thing you need to look out for are these people that use Hebrew names. Like, I may say Yeshua, but I will say Jesus Christ. Whereas you have other peoples that will think of all type of Hebrew names and um, Aramaic names to refer to Jesus or um, the Most High, and they refuse to say Jesus Christ. These are people that's trying to get around. These are the people that's not coming through the door. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Not Yeshua, not Ahia, and not all of these other names that you have for Jesus. Jesus says, I am the door. So you try to omit Jesus the Christ and try to go around the door by mentioning Hebrew and Aramaic names, which in most cases you're not even pronouncing it correctly. So you have to be aware of these spirits because many spirits have gone out. So the false, the antichrist is a lot of these people that's right here on YouTube that's constantly preaching against Christ. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all of the grounds is sinking sand. So when it comes to Travis Scott, so many young people are deceived and you have to be aware when dealing with these celebrities. I've heard or seen cases where a celebrity would stand up and he would perform about drugs and illicit sex and, and, and rape and all this other nonsense. And then he will stand up and say, I thank God. And then you have the fans, the young fans that will say, well, he believe in God. He always give thanks to God. But which God is he referring to? I guarantee you, if you sit down and talk to Travis Scott and get into details and you ask him, so you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe in Yeshua, the Messiah. You believe in this, right? So you are a Christian. You're going to find that his beliefs are not like yours. That's when he's going to come out. First, he might start stammering, and then he'll come out and let you know, uh, well, this is what I believe in. And you'd find out that it's not the same God that you give allegiance to. Trust me on that. You cannot be a man of God and perform satanic rituals like Travis Scott is doing. And like Travis Scott has done. Now, one thing I do agree with him, and I mentioned it in a prior video, was that he had no idea what was going on while he was on stage. If you've ever been on stage and performed before a massive crowd, which I have, you'd find that when it, the, mute, the instruments, the speakers, the lights, all the theatrics going on, you can't see nor hear what's going out in that audience. You see like a, a, a like a white haze over the crowd. So if there was a family member that was sitting out front, I wouldn't see them. Just because of how the light, just because of the lighting. So he said he didn't realize what would happen until after he was in his trailer. I believe him when he said that. I don't think he understood. I don't think he knew what was going on. Just because he had ear, he had an earpiece in his ear. He was performing. He had the, the everything was going on. There was no way he could know. But when he made that comment that he was a man of God, that's wrong. I don't believe that because no man of God would perform with the emblems and the symbols that he's performing with the energy that he's performing with. Right. So don't be deceived. Do not be deceived. 
Until next time, I'm fearless. <laughs>